most difficult part of the 44 uprising was that we didn't have any arms, or very few. Uh, one in ten had a short arm, ammunition was in short supply, and so was food. So every German we killed, we got at least one gun. A quarter of a million people died in a little over two months. Uh, I was on the uh, front lines, in the trenches, defending from attacking German tanks and infantry. The, what the Germans did against all the uh, rules of war, he took Polish civilians, women and children, and dragged them in front of German tanks so we couldn't fire at them. And uh, some of them, of course, were run over under the tanks. In the fourth week of the uprising, uh, the Stuka bombers, the attack German, dropped bombs on the glass house building and buried a lot of civilians under it. And we were sent to try to dig them up from under the rubble. And I remember uh, grabbing the leg, trying to pull somebody out, and I ended up with the leg in my hand. The Germans were so bad, so evil, that they did not allow us any other solution. The choice was to be killed like sheep or to die while fighting. We have to stand against evil, whatever form it takes. After the 44 uprising, I was taken prisoner. I was being taken to Stalag 11A in a crowded cattle car, sick with pneumonia, which turned into tuberculosis. This, this was the largest prisoner of war camp in Germany, Stalag 11A. Five days before the end of the war, the Germans didn't want the camp to fall into Russian hands, and it was in the middle of East Germany. And they contacted the uh, American army across the Elbe, and they told them that they can come, send in thousands of trucks. For the first time in five years, we were free. The air has changed, and from being a slave for five years, I was a free man. The experiences in Poland were my school, my schooling, and it was the best school in the world. It taught me perseverance, it taught me courage, it taught me that if you want to work very hard, you can achieve anything. Patriotism, love of the country, love of freedom are the basic human things worth fighting for and worth dying for. Thank you.